Well, good afternoon, fellas. Happy Easter to everybody. Bad Billy coming at you from Michigan. It is uh, 2.46 on Easter Sunday. Apparently, ZQI is looking to expand their dealer network since they're no longer going to be in Walmart, and they would like your help. So if you uh, refer a dealer and they order two cases, it appears uh, you get three boxes for referring that dealer. All I can say is good luck on that. I think uh, ZQI will be forgotten about once it's uh, gone from Walmart shelves. So I went out this morning and uh, hunted up some Easter eggs. Found, uh, found a store, started showing last night pretty late. Uh, with the mini mags, went there. The phone was blowing up. Girl answered the phone in Sporting Goods, went and checked the case. There was nothing in there. I asked her if they'd stocked ammo. She said yes. She said people call every day and check on 22. So I went and did the rest of my other shopping, came back about 10 minutes later, and sure enough, there was the assistant manager with the ammo cart. And uh, I asked him for my three, and he gave them to me, and I went about my day. I asked him to price match the uh, Perfecta at 694. He said no. He said their price match, price match policy is uh, 30 miles from the store. So that wasn't happening. I also uh, had a friend of mine pick up some of this uh, Aguila 22 Interceptor that's loaded with the Eli Prime bullets, 1,470 feet per second from Dunham's. Stuff was expensive, $8.99 per 50. But, you know, him and I have an agreement when we see 22, it doesn't really matter what it is. We buy it for each other, and he bought it for me, and dropped it off so I've got it but it's something I didn't have in the collection so we'll give it a whirl and see how it is here's the uh, tag from uh, Walmart from this morning the Easter store on the mini mags and here's the tag from uh, Dunham's on the Aguila 40 grain also a pretty funny story too from my uh, co-worker um, Went over to uh, his Walmart this morning. I helped him out by sending him a barcode so he could flint scan. There was nothing in the case. He found an assistant manager, asked him to bring the ammo out from the back. And uh, he did. He gave him his three CCIs, and he folded the box back up and set it to the side and closed up the ammo case. And my coworker said to him, he goes, hey, uh, he goes, aren't you going to put that ammo in the case for sale? And the uh, guy, the assistant manager there that was helping him gave him this look, and he goes, oh, no. He goes, I got to put that back in the back. People are going to be mad that I even brought it out. So that, I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, he has problems at that store all the time with employees hiding ammo. So anyways, happy Easter to everybody. And uh, for now, I'm out. Take care.